Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zach and today we're going to be looking at the Omi price a day. Now I've got to say that we do see quite a large uptick compared to yesterday. We're up 7.41% right now. I want to be very, very clear right now. I am very much learning everything about what's going on here. And I have only been covering this stuff literally for the past 48 hours. So we're really, really new. Having said that, the entire time I've been covering stuff about Omi, Ecomi, VV and NFTs in general, since I started, the price has really been down to around 0.004 roughly. So after doing the majority of my work today that isn't to do with this specific YouTube channel, I looked at this and I'm like, five? So yes, we're up quite a lot over the past 24 hours. Now, it seems like we're sort of at our height of today at least, or close to our height of today. The low obviously being 0.004885 and the high being 0.005296. And so I looked at this month to try and get a better overall view, at least for 30 days to see roughly what's been been happening. Now clearly Omi has been going down in its price over the past month. Now my understanding is that essentially we've seen a bit of a correction happen here as we've seen Omi go more into the limelight or show light or public, more public attention in general I guess. And it seems like whilst it has been dropping we may be seeing a potential growth again. Obviously it's impossible to tell but looking at the week one as well it looks like we're essentially going back to where we started. And so I have been wondering what has driven the price price gain at least over the past 24 hours. So I looked at Google Trends to see exactly what we might see here, just typing in Ecomi to find what people are looking at. And it seems that just today there has been a 500% increase in people searching for Ecomi white paper over the past day worldwide. Similarly, if we look at VV over the past seven days worldwide, we can see that we are, of course, on an upwards, but also it seems that related queries rise, there's been a breakout in related queries regarding Cryptkins, Cryptkins, Cryptokins, of course, basically the Cryptozoic drop that happened very recently, and breakout means that it's an upwards of 5,000%, again, versus what we've seen here, even Ecomi white paper has been at 500%. Now, of course, we have to bear in mind that this is one drop, and so likelihood is that this will very much die down very, very soon. So where that means that we're going to see another drop potentially with people maybe just getting bored of Omi or whatever it might be. Generally, people, of course, who aren't holding and who get a bit scared, understandably, whatever it is, I'm not here to judge, but it has been fun seeing the price go up. I'm a noob, so really, I could be talking about utter nothing right now. And if I am, please let me know in the comments. Please be nice about it, though. I've literally set up this YouTube channel to try and learn as much as I can and also to try and give and help as much as I can in terms of seeing what's possible for Omi, Ecomi, and Vivi. And unfortunately, most of my day today has been spent on other work outside of this specific YouTube channel. But I have got another video coming up talking about marketing for Vivi. Now, Re spoke with Taps Trades about marketing. This isn't the part that is about marketing specifically. But I want to go over the part where Taps is talking about Marvel potential opportunities with Vivi. Awesome. And we're, we're nearing the end, so I'm getting to a little bit more of the, the real questions, so bear with me. But And I don't like to speculate much, and I understand the agreements are in place, but we you know saw that image during the NFT event that looks almost identical to the Marvel logo. Um, Marvel has not been officially announced, correct? Correct. Okay, if, but would you say if something like that were to be announced in the future, would that be considered a big announcement? It's like maybe like a 12 out of 10 on a scale? I'm not going to speculate. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice try. But... I, 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 had to, I had to try, right? Like... Now, what's important here is that we have heard, I think even in this interview potentially, that there are like over 100, maybe 150 licenses that we haven't even seen yet. I think we've seen like 15 or something. I Honestly, I'm not an expert on that end. But I have taken a look at some of the analytics on this video through Video IQ, and, or VidIQ, sorry. And I've noticed that this video itself, as of right now at least, it has 12,700 views. It's going up by 400 views per day at the moment. Now, obviously, that could slow it or it could go faster. My guess is, though, as people learn more and more about Vivi, and this is what a lot of people I'm watching are talking about themselves, as more people learn about what Vivi's actual use case is and what their plans are, of course, likelihood is, is that Omi will likely see an actual longer term uprise of more than just 24 hours. That's my guess, though. Let me know what your thoughts are. I have got an exciting video. I'm already writing up all my notes 
notes for it. I'm going to be talking about some marketing ideas that I have for Vivi that I think would really boost it, especially in the sector that I understand, which is gaming. So I'm looking forward to talking to you about that stuff, but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Please obviously be respectful. I am new to all of this, and if I said something very stupid, please let me know uh, very lightly. I appreciate it. That being said, have a great day, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.